Okay, we're ready to start turn number seven of the Legend of Drizzt board game, adventure number two. So it's going to be a Drizzt turn. So Drizzt is poisoned, so the first thing that happens is Drizzt takes a point of damage. Nothing we can do about it. And now, so Drizzt is not within attacking range. So I, let me see, what makes more sense? Do we want to go after Artemis or do we want to try to go get the throne? I think Drizzt should probably go down after Artemis and we'll maybe send Brunner after the throne. Um, all right, let me read over the thing again. So the heroes win the adventure when they defeat Artemis and any hero has taken the crown. So, yeah, let's have Drizzt move down. He's got more speed. And he's got slightly better attacks that he can do. Alright, so Drizzt is going to move. Um, this is easily within range, but we'll count it out anyway. One, two, and we can go corner to corner if we want. Three, four, five, yeah. And if we don't go corner to corner, then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Either way, it's easily within range. So we'll move down here to Artemis. And Drizzt will. Let's see what kind of stuff we can do. Um, Alright, well, first of all, Dagger. Or Lone Drow, rather. Move your hero up to his or her speed, then attack an adjacent monster. So we, we definitely want to do that right away. So we'll use the Lone Drow, because that'll do three damage. Artemis has eight hit points, and he's full up at the moment. I don't think he heals or anything. No, he does heal. Okay, so, so yeah, we want to lay into him with everything we got. So, yeah, Dr uh, Dr uh, Drizzt is going to use Lone Drow and attack Artemis. He gets a plus six on the attack. Does some damage either way. Oh man, of course. So, so we used our power. Didn't do us much, but we used it. So put one marker onto Artemis, indicating that he's taken one damage. Um, so that's one of our powers gone. And since, since Drizzt can do two attacks with his expert combatant, we will use our second... Well, actually, let's go ahead and save that one just in case the remaining monster happens to come into range. So for now... And we don't need to move anymore, so what we'll do, we'll, we'll use Twinkle now. We'll attack the adjacent monster and then we'll place our stance token over here, which means Driz can't move after this turn, but that's fine. This will prevent him from taking a damage. All right, so he's gonna use Twinkle. And he gets a 12, that should hit. 12 and six is 18, yeah, that hits Artemis. So Artemis takes another point, taking him down to six. So two hit markers, so he's going eight, seven, six. Alright, so that's Drizzt's turn, uh, hero phase anyway. So Drizzt didn't use that, he did move, he attacked, didn't kill anything, first time ever. So no treasure, we're not exploring, so there's no tile, no monster, and forced encounter that we can't cancel. And then Artemis will activate, then the goblin archer will activate. Alright, so encounter cannot be cancelled. Is there anything else that Driz can do? Um, oh yeah, I forgot that we had this, so we're, good, we're definitely going to use this. So this one says that an attack, when your hero hits an adjacent monster with an attack, it does another two damage. So we're going to say one of those hits did that extra two damage and we'll discard that. So we'll grab a couple more markers. So we did two extra damage on that last attack. 
So Artemis is halfway down. If I'm playing that correctly, and I think I am. So now the encounter. Each hero on a volcanic vent takes two damage. Okay, so luckily we the only volcanic vent is way over there, so this fizzles and does nothing, so that's a good encounter to have. Now Artemis will activate, and finally Artemis is going to attack for the first time. So he's going to use Vampiric Dagger. Now let's really hope he misses because he's going to gain a hit point if he hits us. So he gets a plus 8 on that attack. And now he hits. Solidly hits. So a couple things happen. Driz goes down to 3 because that was a 2 damage attack. And we take one marker off. So Driz goes down to 3. Alright, now the Goblin Archer will activate. So it's finally within one tile. It's not adjacent though, so it's the second one. If the, it's within two tiles, it is. It attacks the closest hero with barbed arrows, man. It doesn't move. Okay, so it's going to attack Drizzt. 11, 7 is 18, so that's going to hit. So he's going to take two damage. Drizzt is not looking good. Down to one. Right, but that's going to be the end of Driz's uh, turn seven. And now Bruner will go. I was, um, oh wait, you know what? I did forget to roll for his poison at the end of his turn. It doesn't affect anything as of yet, so we're going to do that now. If Driz rolls a 10 or higher, he's not poisoned anymore. And of course. So Driz is still poisoned. Um, now... I was planning to have Bruner go after the crown. I think that's probably still the right move. Because the hero wins the adventure when they defeat Artemis and any hero has taken the crown. How do we take the crown? I assume we just walk up and take it. Place the crown token on either square of the throne depicted. A hero in any of those six squares may take it. Place the crown on the hero's card. Okay, so, hmm. I wonder if we should take down Artemis first before we worry about going after the crown. Because he has to die anyway. So, Bruner's speed is five. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, he can't get up there. So, let's go ahead and have Bruner move over here and take the crown. So Bruner has the crown, put it on his hero card. So Bruner did not use a surge, he moved, he did not attack, so he does not get treasure, did not explore. So no new tile, no new monster, forced encounter, and then Artemis will activate. And probably kill Drizzt. Alright, so let's go for the encounter. Each hero takes two damage. Okay, so we already saw there's no problem with that. So we've got two of those in a row. Um, okay, so now Artemis will activate. And he's going to attack Drizzt with that plus eight. And he rolled a one. So, but I think he still does one damage. Okay, no, no hit for a miss, which is the way it should be. All right, so that's going to be it for round number seven, turn number seven.